I'm meteorologist Carly Smith and we hit a record high today. 91 degrees or we tied it uh, was last reached in 2006. We made it there at 407. So yes, if you were feeling hot, it was extra hot today. 96 the high in Alice, 95 Kingsville, 96 Foul Furious at the beach. We made it to 78 Flower Bluff, 85 Rockport, 82. So what's going on is we've got a warm front to our north. There is a storm system, a low pressure system that is going to bring a cold front into the region tomorrow. But before that happens, we're still running rather warm right now. It's 618. It's 81 degrees as we head into the overnight hours. We'll be in the upper 60s, low 70s across the board. Still may see a little bit of sea fog, but that looks very patchy. Shouldn't have any major impacts from that sea fog or too much in the way of dense fog. But don't forget tonight. We're also changing our clocks. So today your sunset right around the corner at 635, but tomorrow we're going to have the sunset at 736 and then we'll slowly see that sunset getting later and later until we kick off summer and our sunsets at 828 the longest day, of course. So uh, that is what we are looking at in terms of our sunrise sunset times. Don't forget the clocks change tomorrow. Your sunrise is going to come up at 743. It will be a little muggy as we kick off the day, but we're going to see a lot of sunshine again, which will allow our high temperatures into the 90s very easily around 93 degrees at 2 p.m. Winds will be variable throughout the day because we'll have a frontal boundary kind of playing with us, especially across our northern counties. Winds starting off out of the southwest shifting north northeast into the evening tomorrow 93 again the current record for tomorrow that's set in 1980 i think we'll make it to 94 here tomorrow in corpus christi especially at the airport flower bluff will have a run for 90 as well port aransas 82 so it's going to be a rather warm one at the beach 92 sitting 96 in alice notice it's a little cooler through beeville and refurio i mentioned a cold front here's what we're tracking wind is going to show that off pretty well we'll We'll have those winds again kind of tricky a brief offshore flow early tomorrow morning. We do have a small craft advisory for some breezy winds through 5 a.m. You see winds are lighter by 8 a.m. There's that front starting to impact our northern counties right around lunchtime. So temperatures may be slightly cooler behind the front, but this front really isn't going to be the big change in temperatures. That's going to come later on as high pressure develops behind the front. But you can see we eventually wind up with northeast winds overnight heading into Monday and those northeast winds stay with us during the day on Monday and that is what's going to trigger that that cooler temperatures for us on Monday. So tomorrow afternoon 94 degrees Monday afternoon around three o'clock we're looking at a temperature of 72. So that's going to be a pretty drastic change of about 22 degrees between tomorrow afternoon and Monday afternoon. So as I mentioned we do have uh, that cold front that's going to make its way through but I want to show you the cool air really doesn't arrive until that high pressure comes in. So we are looking at comfortable humidity with the high pressure, but in the upper levels of the atmosphere, a chance for a few showers as that warm air or that cold air pushes that warm air up aloft in the atmosphere. So we may see a little bit of rain both Monday and Tuesday. We get humid as the high pressure slides off to the southwest and then another front is on the way with a slim chance of rain Thursday, a better opportunity for rain as our Friday front is coming through. You'll see that there Thursday 80s will be your highs and then as we head into Friday, it does look like we will see uh, temperatures falling into the 70s on St. Patrick's Day, a low chance for a few storms cooler next weekend with highs staying in the 60s. But tomorrow, record possible 94. And for those who may have trouble remembering the time change, we lose an hour of sleep tomorrow. I know, so unfortunate. <sighs> I think it's the last one. I think standard time takes over. And I don't know if that's official yet, but I, I believe. We're going to hear more about it for sure. Yes. All right. Thanks, Carl.